Okay, folks, so basically being all black here, and basically the, you can see the sun in the supergiants. This is not going to be the most dramatic, but I just thought I'd give you this shot since I bumped into this. This should be 4, 9, 12, 4, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, I guess it goes up to the 21st. So uh, I hit play on that again, or it's just basically it's playing again right now. So there you go with what's sitting out in space. But what I want to give you is, did you see that was a huge CME there off to the right? And basically, I'll just go show you. I think I've got the 28th up. I don't know if the 29th is fresh enough, but we'll go and see what we got there. So you had that movie play there. That was the sun right up here. This is the sun and the supergiants flaring right here. And then these are all the stars and planets out there. Milky Way galaxy, galaxies, space. Those satellites are way the hell out there. Soho, Sechi. H1A and 2 and a lot of other satellites, folks. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to basically bring you around and show you some more of the meatball fresh. Now, I'll give you an idea of the size again, how huge the sun and the supergiants are, because the huge is also of that mass, whatever number it's mass, 40 through 50 or something. What's what the number? They just put an M which means mass, and then there's a number 48 through 50 something or whatever whatever mass it is. It could be a different number. They might have reappropriated, they renamed stuff all the time. Well, that's the sun and the supergiants there to the left. Okay, CMEs. And I don't know what planets or whatever that we've got. This possibly could be Venus here. Don't know, but we'll take a, we get a better look when we come to the other, uh, let's go to the other views that we've got. And there's the meatball to the right. And then I'll take you to a still photo also, too. This will play through. This is the 28th. This is the freshest video we got. And that's Venus there. So more than likely, like I was saying on the other side, that was probably Venus. And you got Mercury down low and Mars. So thanks, NASA and Sechi, for marking everything for us. So basically, you go ahead and find yourself a map of Venus, Mars, and Mercury, that triangulation there, and then figure our triangulation plot GPS wise pretty much with Venus, Mars, and Mercury find Earth and maybe I'll get a chance here to put the Wolfram up and give us a map on that and you'll see where the meatball is and see how huge the meatball is and we know that okay we know that the satellite is close to Venus so that's why it's looking bigger plus also the CME reaction that it's doing to the CME, the massive CME which are coronal mass ejections off the Sun so we call them CME atmospherical around those planets that's Venus doing that uh, reaction to that CME over here that's huge and the Sun keeps doing this stuff all the time it's huge massive CMEs big old flames coming off ladies and gentlemen Venus and Mercury are pretty much the same size as of the Earth somewhat close okay it takes 11 Jupiters to make the size of the Sun uh, the meatball that you cannot miss is this spherical huge and yes there's stars in front of it and so forth and so on but it's back here and it pretty much is so huge that it'll wipe out anything that it gets in its way or at least push things out of its way that are in space because it's so huge now there is scientific proof Bino has been showing it to you that basically po possibly when we're looking at Palau when it gets so damn dark at night right now what we've been seeing with all the other stars before the idea that meatball might actually cushion us and help us hide out in a rabbit hole here on earth wherever we are between here Mars Mercury and Venus which are all marked here in this, to be able to not get these massive coronal mass injections to hit us directly head on. As you know that that CME that was pretty close to a large C that came directly towards Earth, uh, depends on how much disturbance it did to the ground and so forth like that, it's hard to tell. Now there is a huge something, and we might even have our comet or something that's right out here in front of the meatball too, or a sun or triangulation is doing something there. You can see that that's kind of shows up pretty good. We'll try to see if we can come back and blow up to that. So that you can see how huge the supergiants and the sun are back here because basically usually Jupiter, it takes 11 of them, and usually Jupiter looks just as big as, not even bigger than what it Venus does when it does that CME reactive flare. Okay, so when that's big like that, okay, you figure that's Jupiter, it takes 11 of those, the biggest thing, that takes 11 of those to make, and actually even less than that size, to make the sun, okay? So when you see this huge flaming and everything going on to the right, you know that the sun and the supergiants together are doing that. It's not just the sun that's doing that CME action, okay? And yes, the sun is blowing its ass off up there. 
it's getting a little raped up there in the super giant's main sequence the sun ladies and gentlemen the sun and that is the meatball and it's fresh shot right there and let me give you a still of it don't even break away we basically just go in here and we look at this and basically we've got uh, your still and there's your meatball you can't miss it now there's Venus to the right so more than likely that is possibly Mercury or Mars and Earth could be one of these brights here in front of the big old massive they have this one marked is that Mars I think that's Mars marked there I'm not positive on that but there you go that might be Mars marked there let's open the photo up and we'll see because then if I, I've usually had problems when I blow that up it doesn't show up anything and there's no marking there anymore but I think that might be Mars down there so and then if that is Mercury and then more than likely Earth is somewhere in that shot somewhere and the meatballs there and it's out our and we know the meatballs out our back door okay so we'll cruise down here through the shot and see if it does mark up as Mars down there. I don't know. It kind of looks like that's marked as Mars. I'm not sure. So anyway, we know for positive on the other ones. So and there's the CME to the right and the sun and the supergiants. And that is the meatball. You cannot miss the meatball, ladies and gentlemen. It's the hugest thing you'll ever see in your life. And the thing with uh, Venus doing its deal in front of the sun and stuff like that, it'll probably be dramatic and everything. Make sure you wear eye protective wear way more than sunglasses. You should well wear, wear welding glasses or even exposed film over top of your sunglasses when you're looking at it because you never know what kind of a flare of light that it could hit your eyes and blind you possibly. It's not good for your vision. So here's the most recent, and we'll open that up full too so you can see it better. A separate window. And there you go. There's that shot opened up. And there's the meatball. You can't miss it. Now let's take you back to the footage so you know that I'm not filling you full of anything. And this is all factual data right from NASA. Navy, Sechi. And there's the most dramatic footage because basically that's that's awesome. I mean, it's wild. I can open it up a little bit more too. We'll just go up to like 400 since you know I'm not messing with you. And that's the meatball there. And we're up on Venus. That's that huge coronal mass ejection reaction flare that it makes, and a lot of planets have done it. And basically, we proved a long time ago. I showed old archival footage, and started showing where you know it's not no inner camera flare. There's Mercury to the left. The meatballs up to the right, up by the sun and the supergiants. Shouldn't hit the sun or the supergiants. Don't believe. If it does, it would just destroy it because it's so damn huge. So. The sun should be perfectly fine because it's a way. There's massive distances here, ladies and gentlemen. These are huge distances, and that's what the idea of the meatball there. The same thing that you're seeing right there, that sphere, that roundness that you're seeing there. There you go. You get a nice silhouette of it. The CME off the sun and the supergiants blows it up, and you can see it all. Okay. Apologize for f making it flutter there or whatever. Let's just stay here for a second because it's playing fast enough, and there you go. That's a meatball, and it is flipping huge. And that's more CME action, way the hell up, folks. And that's massive distances in space. And look how huge all that sun and supergiants is flaming. It's not just the sun. So anyway, uh, SolarWorks is down today. So, uh, and I'm kind of glad they are, and we're proud of what they're doing. They're basically pissed off about what the government's trying to track everything and everybody that you talk to and everything like that. So, anyway, as long as it takes care of the te uh, terrorists, but as long as it doesn't intrude on our privacy. I would say basically they should always have to send you a search warrant that we are, okay? If they're going to do it, they should have to send you a search warrant that we're checking into you so that you can see what the kind of file they've got on you. Because basically that's the way it is now, and they're trying to pull a shit with the idea that basically they can spy on you like crazy and not even let you know they're doing it. And why? Why not? I mean, you know, if you, uh, who knows? Maybe that you're privately fooling around with some senator's ho wife or or somebody that the senator and may I'm talking male or female because a female senator could have a male you know gigolo or something like that who knows uh, anyways eventually one of these days I'm sure there'll be uh, there's plenty of women that uh, I mean you basically pretty good evidence that there was some female in the east coast of the United States that she had herself all dressed up and she's missing and God bless her soul she's you know we hope everything's okay with her maybe she'll show up she might have been fooling around on her husband who knows I'm sure that thought has went through his mind so anyway 
It happens to people, ladies and gentlemen. As far as I'm concerned, as soon as you don't have a hundred percent, you know, respect of your mate and stuff like that, and it works both ways. Bye bye, you know. So that's a little word of the wise to the men out there. And there's a lot of women that already are like that, you know. They're screwing around on you. They're not uh, loyal. Yeah, no loyalty. Bye bye. So that was the freshest shot we got right there, of H1A. Uh, loyalty is the most important thing in a relationship. So nope, you're not loyal. Respect every one of the, your mate's thoughts. Bye bye. Okay, so we've got more meatball action here. I mean, I'll just go to the movie again because it's just tremendous out there. And you already seen the footage from B. It was kind of boring. I mean, massive amounts of space. So you can just see Mars, and then you can even see uh, Mars. Mars will do its little it's way, way far away, and it's doing its reactive flare also at the same time. Because those planets aren't that big. And yes, the camera is somewhat closer to Venus right now than any of those planets, and that's why Venus looks a little bit bigger. Because it's the satellite's actually a little bit closer, the lens is a little bit closer to Venus than it is any of those other planets. But you see Mercury will flare up and it'll get its do its CME reactive flare also to that CME flare off the sun. It's all electrical light propagation and the atmospheres are reacting to each other. And yes, Venus is catching some of that. So Anyway, let's give you a map. What was I going to try to give you a map of? Well, let's see if we can find Earth in this three-way of Venus, Mars, and Mercury, and the flipping meatball to the right. And basically, you can't miss the meatball there again to your right. And the sun and the supergiants, let's pop it down to like 150. There you go. That's the footage I'm giving you from JavaScript from the Navy. Set you information there, your data. And there's the meatball and all that action and CME going on to the right. Wild, wild and huge, everything out there in space. Venus and Mercury, not that big, either Jupiter or either, and Jupiter is, it takes 11 of them at least, 10 point something to make the size of the sun, and Jupiter is the hugest thing we were supposed to know in the Milky Way galaxy. Well, that meatball is, might not be in the Milky Way galaxy, large distances, hey, but it's right next door, or it is in the Milky Way galaxy, because it's up there by the sun and the supergiants, and the sun is in the Milky Way galaxy, ladies and gentlemen, the sun and the supergiants to the right, doing all that flaring action to the right. I see the clock going here. Navy's uh, C3, 2, and 1 are not reporting in right now. At least they're not getting it on the internet feed. That 5.1 is pretty much the most recent. No, 5.0 down by New Zealand now. Out there in the Pacific, way down. <laughs> and right now folks that's what makes mercury look so big too on the core 2b it makes it look huge because of the flaring and the cme reactive flare off the sun as you can barely see mercury there that it goes away and it looks really large larger way larger than normal because basically that's how big the sun is right there and it just their, their CME reactive flaring their atmospheres to the sun's CME flares, which are huge, and they make them look huge as you see how big Mercury looks as it goes away there to the left. Here's the latest footage from the magnetic, where you can see all the action going on in the sun and all the remnants and all the objects, which are huge up there, ladies and gentlemen. Earth is nothing but just a grain of this gray or black out here, just the smallest thing you see, not any of this big stuff. That's how small Earth is compared to the sun and the supergiants. That's the wild activity going on up, up there right now. Almost like what we are seeing on the 26th and I didn't get a chance to play it. It's huge, wild action. The sun is flaring its ass off and possibly way more than the sun. Like we can tell us A or B and all the suns and the supergiants and the material that's in the supergiants main sequence and there's vast distances between all those objects out there but all that at massive action going on out there in space, ladies and gentlemen. So when you're looking, you lay on the ground and you look up the sky and there you'll go and there's your alignment up there, Mercury, in between the sun and Earth, Venus, Mercury, and Mars and the moon is that gigantic meatball ladies and gentlemen somewhere up in here it's mass some I'm pretty sure it's m48 because it's huge and anyway it's between there and that's how huge it is and that's how far away from earth it is